Good morning everyone. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Heather. I own So Rockin' the Style. Uh, if you have subscribed, then welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I make a hooded towel. You first need a, a hand towel and then you'll need a full bath towel. So you'll take the hand towel and you'll fold it in half, hot dog style, and you'll line the edges up. As good as you can. Sometimes I will heat press my towel a little bit to get the crease. Then you will cut long ways and cut the hand towel in half. Then I normally just kind of hold one end and cut with the other. Then you're only going to need one piece of the washcloth, or not washcloth, hand towel. You need one piece of the hand towel. The other one you can use later. Then it makes a mess. <laughs> then you'll take your hoop. Uh, today I'm going to be using my PE770. I will hoop a piece of tearaway stabilizer. And excuse my hoop because it needs to be washed. You hoop the stabilizer and then tighten the screw. And then the design that I'm doing, I've pulled it up in my machine already. And the design is going to go this way instead of this way. So I know that when I put my towel on, I need to put it on uh, where I want it to begin at down here. So I use the 505 temporary adhesive spray for fabrics. I'm going to spray this over my trash can. Okay and then I will fold, which I guess I should have did this first, but fold it in half to give me my center piece. And it goes this way. Then I will uh, you have these little notches that are in the hoop and this is like centers it or is the center of your hoop. So I will take this and line up my crease with the center or with those those little lines. I'll line it up with the lines and then smooth it out. And now we are ready to go over to the machine. Now we're at the machine and again I'm using my brother PE770, the one needle machine. Um, I always like to do a trace of the design on where, uh, like to show me the layout of where the design is going to be. So I can make sure that I have it centered. And make sure that I have it as low as that I want it to be. Okay, I think it's ready. And now we're going to start stitching.
I normally have the design that I'm working on pulled up on my computer so that way I know what the steps are. I'm working on um, a little girl puppy um, that I'm putting on the hooded towel. Okay, the first stitch that it does onto the towel is your uh, placement stitch. So that way you'll know where to place your fabric down. Then your second is your tack down stitch. Now uh, that it did the tack down stitch, I need to take my applique scissors and trim all the way around all of the threads without cutting the threads. And then we'll be back. Okay, now that I've trimmed around the threads, trimmed off the extra fabric, we'll put it back into the machine. Make sure that the other pieces of the towel is not folded under. And then it will do the next uh, placement stitch. bond light on all of my applique fabrics as long as they're like the regular cotton. Um, if you're using embroidery vinyl, uh, the embroidery vinyl you do not apply heat and bond to the back and then if you're using uh, glitter HTV it already pretty much has the sticky or the heated part that will go on the back. So don't know if this piece of white that I have here is going to fit. Yeah, it may fit that way. Okay, now we're doing the placement stitch for part of the applique. use the Fiskars curved applique scissors to trim around the fabric. Now I'm trimming the fabric away from the, or the extra fabric away from the applique. Um, it's, sometimes it's a little tricky working with the towels because you tend to uh, try to end up cutting a piece of the towel or the scissors get in a piece of the little terry cloth. Then you just trim all the way around. You get as close to the stitches as you can without cutting your stitches. It's ready to go back to the machine. And now we're doing the uh, placement stitch for the hair bow. I'm 
going to remove the paper backing off for the heat and bond light and then you have this little shiny material which is your pretty much the the glue once you heat it this will help lay or help the fabric lay flat without puckering so then you place your fabric where the tack down stitch was or the placement stitch was. Now we're doing the tack down. We're tack downing the fabric. And watch your fingers if you hold the fabric like I do. Oh, I didn't put the fabric far enough. Now I have to unstitch this little piece of fabric. I unstitched the part for the bow because my piece was not big enough. Um, so now I need to uh, go back to the beginning of where it was stitching, where it was going to stitch the hair bow. Now I'll put in a bigger piece so that way I know I have enough. I want to try to get some of that purple in the bow. Now we'll stitch the bow, the placement stitch for the bow. Or tack down stitch for the bow, sorry. machine and cut around the bow. Okay, now we are done with the applique uh, fabrics. Now it's going to do the satin stitches and when we go to do the satin stitches I always place a piece of water soluble stabilizer on the top. This will help your stitches kind of float that way they don't sink down into the towel um, and then this here you can actually I mean it'll peel off really easily when you're done and I just stick some pins like in each the top and then the sides to try to hold the stabilizer in place then we'll put it back into the machine sure it's locked in place make sure your towel is not folded under and let me see what the first red color is oh, sorry oh, my computer went to sleep here satin stitch for the bow. This is the last step and then it will be finished. Then I'll show you what I do next. Now that the design is finished and I've removed the hoop from my machine, um, I took out my pins that I had holding the water soluble stabilizer. Now I am trimming 
uh, the jump threads. I tried to cut some as it was going along. Okay, I think I got all the little threads clipped out. Then I will remove the oh, there's another thread. Um, I will remove the water soluble stabilizer. And you can normally you can just like wet wet this a little bit and you can it'll dissolve, but or you can use like the end of a pencil like the eraser and be able to pull all of this out. Then once I get all of the stabilizer removed, um, I'm going to remove it from the hoop. Just got to get the rest that's in the bow. Um, I'll just go ahead and remove it since it's tear away. I can just tear it out of the hoop. Set the hoop to the side. Let me go ahead and get the rest of this out of the bow. Okay, I think that's all of my stabilizer. See another little thread. Then, as you can see, the back has a bunch of jump threads. I have to clean up all of these jump threads and then remove the stabilizer from the back of the design and then I'm going to take it to the heat press. Okay, now we're at the heat press and I've removed the stabilizer. Oh, there's a little piece there. Okay, I removed all the stabilizer. And now we're going to press the design since it has uh, the heat and bond light underneath the pieces of fabric and put a piece of parchment paper and then press it for a few seconds. And now our design is flat. Now the design is flat. Now I'm going to take you to the sewing machine and show you how I sew the hood to the towel. Okay, now I'm at the sewing machine. Uh, you will take the, let me raise this up a little bit. You will take the hood and you will fold it wrong sides together or right sides together with the back of the design uh, on the outside and then line up your edges. Then we're going to take the raw edge and we're going to sew it together. Lower you back down so you can see what I'm doing. You can pin this if you need to, that way it doesn't shift on you. I hate pinning anything. And then 
I did a back stitch. Well, I think I ran out of bobbin. Always check your bobbin first. Sorry, I had to change my bobbin. Now I'm going to finish stitching. Well, now it didn't pick up the bobbin. Okay, let's try that one more time. Now I fixed my bobbin. So the rest down. Plus, my machine is like 18 years old. Alright. So now, when you turn the hood the other direction, back the right way, now you have the hood to your hooded towel. And now we need to sew this part onto the, if you can even see, now we've made the hood, we need to sew it to the bath towel. Okay, so you're going to take the bath towel and you're going to fold it in half, but make sure that you have the tag on the inside because you don't want, or down at the bottom, you don't want the tag up at the top. Then line up your edges and then you can heat press this part if you want to or you can just take a pin and mark it to know that that's your center. It kind of puts a crease into it. So then now I have the tag is on the outside facing towards me. I'm going to spin it around. Now the tag is facing down, and here is my crease. I'm not sure if you can see my crease. Then I will take the hood, and I will line up my seam here, and I'm going to trim this, some of this down here, but line my seam up with the crease that's in the bath towel. Then you're going to take it to the machine, and you're going to sew the hood to the towel itself but make sure that your tag is on like facing away from you now let's take this back to the machine and we'll sew it together okay now we're back at the machine i have the hood is facing up and i have the edges lined up the hood edge is lined up with the bath towel and now we're going to sew oh I need to turn it back off of my zigzag stitch. We're going to straight do a straight stitch all the way down. Let me line this back up. And then I like to do a back stitch and then a forward stitch and a back forward over the edge and um, where right at the edge of the hooded towel or the hood part and then we'll sew the rest all the way down make sure I'm lined up Towels lined up still. Again, at this end where the hood meets the towel, I will go over, then go back, go back stitch, forward stitch, back stitch. 
just a couple of times. That way it you know for sure that it's secured. Then I will trim my threads. Now the hood is sewn to the towel. And now we just need to fold it up. Okay, now we have the towel that's finished. Um, normally I do this on my bed or on my kitchen table or something. Uh oh, sorry. I just bumped the camera. Okay, you're going to take the towel and you'll fold in the bottom. Fold it halfway up, and then you'll take and you'll fold it again. That way now it's like even with the, the bottom part of the towel. Then you will come to one side or the other, and you roll it all the way to the center. My scissors right there, maybe it'll stay. Then I'll roll the other end up to the center. And now I need a piece of ribbon. I'll just grab some ribbon. And slide a piece of ribbon underneath. I'll let you know how long this is here in a minute because I normally just kind of estimate it. And get scissors that work. Hold on, let me grab my fabric scissors. this pair of scissors. Okay. Now you have your ribbon pulled up and then you're just gonna tie a bow onto the front. And I'm just gonna do this quickly. So uh, you have your bow and then I will cut the ends and heat seal them with a lighter just like you would if you were putting a bow on a tutu or making a hair bow. Then you stand it up. Make sure I rolled it correct with that or straight. Then you take and Let this piece kind of come down a little bit in the back. And then you now have a complete hooded towel. So thanks everyone for watching. If you are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the the bell and the notif or the notification that you would like. Um, tomorrow is Work With Me Wednesday, so come back and see what I have going on tomorrow. Thank you everyone, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. See you tomorrow.